Welcome Virgo to your end of September heart spread. I'm going to use the clipped art deck today. I haven't been using it till recently in these readings. It uh, gets me sometimes. It's so evocative. You'll see. I just took this art. It's kind of crazy to start with. And then I just kind of attached it to the cards uh, with some uh, uh, intuitive artistic leaps. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> it's just kind of like yeah, uh, evocative is the word. You could go on and on. You could just really do a reading with this thing with one card. Think of it. But what we're going to do is a heart spread, deck on it. Um, it's a card reading. I uh, look at you and who's in your mind and who's on your heart. Starting the first of the month, I'll get the singles readings going out every day, just same as this. Uh, and Leo and Virgo is always on Wednesday, so the singles at the Leo and Virgo will be Wednesdays. We'll do... I do two signs every day, uh, all the signs every week. And this one's going to read who's, who's in your heart, that's all. Um, pretty reliably pick up on that. Uh, end of September time frame. I always think of it as when you watch it. All about whether it resonates. The first part, kind of your first house, supposed to represent you, kind of how you are in yourself. Uh, second card, your seventh house, uh, a relationship where you uh, project our anima animus out there and meet them and engage them. And, uh, opposite. Uh, so that would be your person. And like I said, really, you couldn't have to be a romantic person. could be a friend. Uh, could be your guardian angel. We'll kind of do it to reading that way. If that's your intentions. Whatever your intention is. They don't even have to be alive. I think this will this is really reads the way I've intended it and it's strong. Why I've interviewed it. Uh, wants to read who's in your heart. Who is it? I mean, I'm the one you're laying next to. No judgment. You know, it's not going to pick up the one you're laying next to. It's going to pick up the one in your heart. Hopefully that's the same. That's the same. Not always positive. Now the singles reading, um, meet the soulmate, it's always positive reading because it's simply asking questions, everything, you know, um, simply asking who is the one that's right for me, try to de describe them. Okay, we're going to do this. Heart spread is going to tell it like it is. I always pray for positive, literally. Thank you, spirit, new light, love, so it serves the greatest good. What can you tell us for Virgo today? It's the most helpful in this person. Uh, oh, great tea. So civilized. <laughs> Justice. Well, I'm checking it out because this deck's kind of new to me and it's just all kind of uh, evocative. She got a hella sword there, got the scales. So when you come in, this is your energy. I'm trying to read in and around relationships. I try to separate it from this person you're thinking of. So again, it's kind of about where you're at. Um, with Libra energy, literally, uh, Virgo's gonna very often have a lot of strong Libra energy in your personal plans, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. One or more of those, which always has a huge impact on us, you know. Um, but nevertheless, it's coming in with that Virgo feeling. Um, in terms of relationship, it's wanting to compromise, uh, um, wanting to be nice, wanting to get along. It also, also could represent, you of course know the answer to this, someone that's still married, uh, waiting on a divorce, or in the middle of a divorce. Or if not, then, you know, maybe that divorce is in the past, but maybe... You know, it is a sword here. Um, you're carrying that energy with you somehow. It hasn't been fully resolved. <sighs> Jettisoned. <laughs> um, mm. Queen of Wands. So I got to say here, this is going to represent a fire person, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but some kind of prominent uh, fire energy in them. And you would recognize it immediately. It's like, yeah, they kind of act like a fire person. You know, confident, um, posit very much probably easygoing, confident, and make jokes. Um, um, 
a good speaker generally, someone like this. Um, with the Queen of Wands, you know, um, they may be a little bit older. If not, if they're young, you know, I get the feeling this is older here with Justice and the Queen of Wands being involved. But if not, we'd be dealing with the, one of those extraordinarily, uh, unusually mature young people, which case that would identify them because you'd be like, oh, yeah, you're that extraordinarily mature, grounded young person that's appearing as the Queen of Wands. Because here I see no reason just not to read the highest octave of the Queen of Wands, you know. So it's also, uh, even though it's a queen, this is male or female, um, it's a masculine energy. It's going to take action. So this is someone that would take action. So I could kind of see right away, it could be like a metaphor or actual uh, case um, that they would be, they would come to you uh, in maybe when you are still in the middle of a divorce. And uh, they're saying, Virgo, like um, um, whether or not, uh, you know, this fire energy could be in their Mars or something, you know, they're just drawn to you. And they're like, you know, coming at you fast and hard with this energy. Right now, I, all I can say, if they're on your mind, you're watching this reading, so obviously you got something for them, right? Or we wouldn't be picking them up if you're resonating. So now I'm going to read. This is how you're feeling about them. Wow. Crosswatcher of Virgo. Lucky boy or girl you. You're feeling, look how beautiful this Queen of Cups is. Just gorgeous. So going in your overall state from justice, when you interact with your person, the way they make you feel is like the Queen of Cups. That's fantastic. The Queen is strong. She's in command. Um, but she's also the sweetest queen. It's also emotions. It's like they make you feel uh, grounded and emotional and whole and just really good, you know. And I think, I got to think, because they're giving you, like, attention. And it's making you feel good. Like, maybe you didn't feel good about yourself as a man or woman because of all this stuff that's probably riding with this here. Um, justice card. And you could also look at this, and I damn well would, pro-Noria, um, as the universe bringing you what you deserve here. That's justice, and it's not bad. It's really good. They're bringing you this fire energy that really uh, is lighting up for you. Two of Pentacles. Wow. And this is how they're feeling about you. Trying to decide if this is going to represent because the, the reading of this card is important here with this Two of Pentacles. This is about how they actually feel about you. And if you look at that card, the mother is serving both of these children. I think it's a feeling of they really want to serve you. You know, if there is another person involved, I feel like they want to put that person beside, aside um, to the point where it's hardly relevant here. And really what they want, it's like, they, they, I, this, I see this person, I know this sounds like a man now, but it could be a woman, 2021. I see them on their knees giving you a wedding ring or engagement ring or asking you to marry them, and not like from their knees. At some point, like on their knees and looking up to you, and you looking down at them, whether they in the bedroom, in the living room, or maybe kidding around, but in that physical position, which I think represents something of their energy, like they super got you on a pedestal here, Virgo. Um, and I'm not seeing that's bad right now. I mean, romantic love at the beginning, it's supposed to be fucking crazy, man. I mean, the main thing is, you're, are you adult and grounded? And you seem to be. I mean, they're making you feel like the Queen of Chalices here, Queen of Cups. I mean, um, <clears throat> I can't see that as being a bad thing. Four of Swords. Yeah, so this advice from Spirit is very clear here. You just need time to heal. It's not like don't have this relationship or anything bad. It's just simply pointing out that you know you need a little time to heal. So maybe could be saying, like, don't go too quick. Think it through. Swords, right? Thoughts. 
um, cause you need a little time to heal. Right now this person here looks good to go. And then the King of Wands, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> this is their advice from spirit. Um, this is a powerful desire for you. Uh, they're getting the green light from spirit. In other words, in so far as they are concerned, you are their soulmate and they are coming. <laughs> And this is not in a bad way. It's not someone that's a stalker or disrespectful. They make you feel like the Queen of Cups. But you may have to say to them, you know, I, I, need, a, I need some healing. I almost am to the, I'm kind of of the mind, if they're showing up here with advice from spirit as the King of Wands, um, you know, we heal each other. I don't think it's codependent. That's nonsense. Uh, they come in, they're the queen of wands. And the two of pentacles, they're thinking it through. They're balancing their energy with you. They feel balanced with you. You maybe ground them. There's a lot of fire with this person. Um, but then with the king of wands, as being advice, that's astounding. You know, that's a just go, go, go. It's like pour it on to them. Um, um, you're, and maybe <laughs> that's what you need to heal, you know? It's like you need someone to gush over you, to truly, truly see who you are, see what a queen you are, that you're a soulmate, that you're so valuable, and then to just pour it on you, because spirits tell them to pour it on you, and that is, these are the two ones I, I go by the most, along with this one, which is spirit's advice. Here it's for the relationship as a whole, wow. This is like the star card here. Take a look. So spirit is telling you, like they're telling your person here, Virgo, to pour it on. They're telling you, uh, this is it, guys. This is the manifestation from both of you. Here comes this two of pentacles. This is relationship is actually the manifestation from both of you of hopes, dreams, and wishes. Because this is for the relationship as a whole. A whole. It's also here, the star is about... Um, um, a reassurance. It's like, you know, um, have no worries. Every, this is kind of like if you want to go this way, really strongly say, in this relationship, have no worries. No matter what comes, you guys, it's kind of blessed. And it's 100% been implying uh, karmic connections here. I don't want to go from the bottom. Thank you, Spirit. And the last card. The five of pentacles. Wow. It's a little bit intuitive read. This is the, going to be the outcome of the heart spread. But look at this card. I think this pointing to as you come together in this relationship, um, I think both of you are going to be humbled, Virgo. And, Humbleness is a Virgo trait. Um, and let's see, particularly you, you're the one looking. And what you're really looking at here is important to note. I gotta reverse them so it's correct. Um, you're looking at this mother uh, feeding the two children with those two of coins. And here you are with the five of coins. And remember, this is how your person feels about you. So. The way they are healing you, and I'm not saying this is good or bad, um, but it is something that's good to be aware of. I think it's good because you have the star here as a vice of spirit, you know. Um, they are making you feel better about yourself. Now we say, well, no one can make us feel better about ourselves. Well, bullshit. I mean, some comes along and they really, truly see you and show you that they see you by making love to you talking to you, living with you, growing with you for a period of time, and you know that they see who you are and they love you and appreciate you, how the hell does that not help you heal and make you feel better about yourself? Uh, it's not everything. <laughs> you have to be doing the work anyway, which is no reason to see you're not. You're the queen of cups here. The queen of cups, you know, they, she knows her own feelings. She knows your feelings, right? She's open. A capable of being vulnerable here. That's why I think it's you're going to do this, you know. Um, there's a vulnerability here. And, um, uh, 
you know, um, and I think you're kind of humbled and, and grateful, grateful um, for this experience, you know, whether it turns into a marriage or not. This is a healing experience for swords. Spirit's telling you that. Uh, it's a faded karmic experience. It is all kind of a blessing. It's a, a hopes and dreams and, and wishes situation. So I could definitely see something working out here. All right. Thank you, guys. Let me know how you feel about that.